Assalamu alaikum my respectable audience and this is the second video of my continued lecture on analysis of covariance in first video I have given the concept about analysis of covariance and now in this video we will apply the analysis of covariance and after this the assumptions behind ANCOVA will be tested in our studio so first I want to have a look on the description of data sets that are being used in our analysis so go to the PPT file the diastolic blood pressure a pharmaceutical company develops a new medicine against high blood pressure they tested their medicine against an old medicine a placebo and the control group these four groups these four medicines are being compared these four groups are being compared new medicines old medicine placebo and control group in this example our study variable is the post treatment blood pressure means the blood pressure the diastolic blood pressure that has been recorded after applying the medicines and our covariate here is the pre-treatment blood pressure apply the analysis of covariance first i am going to import the data set from the excel file my data set is given here in downloads and the name of data set is blood pressure The data set is being imported here. I want to import the second sheet that is named as diastolic in our studio. You can import any of the sheets of Excel file here in our studio. Click on import. Now the data set has been imported. Now first I am going to apply the attach command because without applying this code, the column names are not readable for our studio attach blood pressure the data set has been attached now go towards applying the analysis of covariance first I am going to apply the analysis of variance by ignoring the effect of covariate then we will apply ANCOVA by incorporating the effect of covariate and both the results will be compared okay now uh, this is the code for applying ANOVA here an expression is written model data nova and equal to equal to sign only for assignment we can write any word before this because uh, this is only to assign a name this is only to assign a word to the results of command that is after the equality sign uh, our code is a o v that is analysis of variance and the results of analysis of variance will be assigned to the word model data uh, you can write any word uh, instead of writing model data and over so AOV means analysis of variance then back it first you will write the name of your study variable here in this example our study variable is the post diastolic preparation and then write the name of grouping variable first the study variable and at the second step the name of grouping variable now the code is being executed we will apply the code summary on the same word that has been assigned to the code AOV so somebody this is the p-value and I have written this p-value uh, below the ANOVA code and now I'm going to apply the analysis of covariance all that and COVA AOV post dias means the study variable dependency sign that is the tilde and first we write the covariate then plus sign and after this the grouping variable this is to be noted here first you will write the name of the covariate uh, if the names of the grouping variable and the covariate will be interchanged the results will be different so I'm going to run this code and extracting the p-value here the p-value is 0.0000564 I have written this p-value in real notation this is in scientific notation so this p-value is significant it means that we have first applied ANOVA by ignoring the effect of covariate when the effect of covariate has been incorporated the results become significant there was a significant role of covariate in the analysis okay now go towards testing the assumptions of ANCOVA first is the linearity assumption I'm going to extract the data set for treatment A and apply the scatter plot then I'll apply on all four treatments uh, here is 
a voltage in group dot A means I want to extract the data for treatment A, which treatment is equal to is equal to A means this which code will extract the positions, this which code will extract the points on which the treatment A is being placed. Okay, I am running this code and second code is data dot A means uh, the data on these points will be extracted from the collective data set that is the blood pressure. Blood pressure brackets group dot A comma. Here I have written group dot A that is the positions for treatment A before comma. This is to be written for, for extracting all the rows of the data set uh, with respect to the group A. If I will write anything after the comma, then the columns of the data set will be extracted. Now I need to extract all the rows on which treatment A is being present. Okay, uh, running this code. So the data set of uh, treatment A has been extracted. First, I am going to execute the package GEPUBR, and uh, this is to make the scatter plot an aesthetic scatter plot running this code library and if you have not installed this package then first install by clicking on tools then install packages and write the name of this code on the appeared dialog box okay this code is ggscatr into data.a first you have to write the data to which the scatter plot will be applied comma x is equal to here you write the variable in inverted commas that will be taken on x axis and y is equal to you will write the name of variable that will be written on y axis. Uh, I am going to run this code. The scatter plot between pre diastolic blood pressure and post diastolic blood pressure is before you people. The dots show that there is a relationship because the dots are seems to be making a pattern upward pattern. So we can say that there is a relationship between pre-diastolic blood pressure and post-diastolic blood pressure. If these doors are absolutely random and not making any pattern, then we can say that there is no relationship between the two variables. Like I have uh, a graph before you people. Uh, this is the graph. Here the points are absolutely scattered and they are not making any pattern. So this is the graph of no relationship. In our graph, the dots are showing an upward pattern. So we can say that there is a relationship between the two variable pre-diastolic blood pressure and post-diastolic blood pressure. Now I'm adding simply a linear line on this graph. Okay, by running this code. A linear line has been added. It means that the relationship between pre-diastolic blood pressure and post-diastolic blood pressure is approximately linear because all the points are skated around this line. Okay, now uh, if we want to paste the equation of regression, estimated regression equation and add some other criteria on the top of this graph, then we can write this code stat underscore reg line underscore equation uh, AES. AES here means the aesthetic graph. Uh, label is equal to paste. We are going to paste uh, the criteria here on the top of graph. First, I am going to paste the EQ dot label means regression equation. RR dot label means the uh, value of R square. AIC dot label, AIC, BIC dot label, BIC and comma sep, sep means separated the expressions will be separated on the top of the graph and i'm going to execute this code now let's see first is our regression line with the estimated beta slope with the estimated regression coefficient is 0 0.61 value of r square aic bic you can also write the value of adjusted r square by writing the code adj dot rr dot level uh, now we are going to make the collective plot for all the treatments. GGSkater here the data complete data name is given x-axis pre-diastolic blood, pre blood pressure and y-axis 
post diastolic blood pressure color is equal to treatment it means that the dots will have different colors with respect to the groups with respect to the treatments and is equal to that line same like the previous code and and this code is also like similar before the previous only an additional code color is equal to treatment and this color code is for different lines of different groups okay i'm going to run this code now we have an aesthetic graph before us all the four regression lines the values of r square aic and bic are given the lines are approximately parallel the regression slopes are approximately equal the regression slopes are homogeneous but this is only the visualization we have to check this assumption by getting the numeric results homogeneity regression slopes in this code we are going to check the interaction between the covariate and the grouping variable because if the interaction between covariate and the study variable is not significant it means that the relationship of covariate and the study variable from group to group is same means they have the homogeneous regression slopes okay i'm going to run this code model.i model.i means model of interactions between the covariate and the grouping variable i'm going to run this code and getting the p value for interactions here see that the p value for interactions is 0.96 it means that the interaction between the covariate and the grouping variable is non significant and we can say that the relationship between the covariate and the study variable from group to group is approximately same means they have the same beta coefficients check the normality assumption i am going to apply the spiro dot test on our study variable the results show that um, the p value is 0.43 h not has been accepted in h not we can write that the data follows the normal distribution and h1 in alternate hypothesis we can write uh, the data does not follow the normal distribution and now checking the assumption of homogeneity variances i'm going to apply and uh, levin is test in in car package levin test uh, first the response is written here study variable written here and second grouping variable is written here and levin levin is test has been applied the p value shows that h not has been accepted the h not here is all the variances the variances of all groups are same so it not has been accepted assumption has been fulfilled dear audience the link for data set has been given in description box with r codes and interpretation file that is the ppt file you can download all these files and apply the analysis of covariance by yourself in our studio if you are facing any problem any issue contact me anytime thank you for watching my videos stay blessed